Cactus. 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 PLA Radio. Earlier this month, serial killer from the PLA forum suggested a radio station to try a phone mob on. So last week and this week, a bunch of the forum members tried their best to get on the air of a St. Louis area station. Unfortunately, the station had a delay button, so a lot of our punchlines were completely cut off. But the following is a full 10 minutes of audio from both of these phone mobs. Oh, thank you, Frank. Good morning. Welcome in for your dining and dancing pleasure. Two hours of the yard sale here at the Big 550. Morning, Raymond. Hi. What can I do for you? Um, well, I'm selling a, uh, a safety cactus. Um, that's a, an eight-foot-tall cactus. Uh, it's potted in the inside of your house. I've uh, removed all the spines. Uh-huh. And um, it's sort of for, uh, you know, for recreational purposes as well. So it's eight foot tall? It's eight foot tall. It's um, got some love stains on it, but otherwise it's in good condition. Mm-hmm. And you um, can just come by and pick it up. I'm asking for uh, $80. Wow. Andrew, good morning. Hey, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Well, for sale, I have a used Gremlin, all right? Very nice model. Um, it's really only been used about once or twice. Uh, listen, the thing is, you you have to give it lots of attention and uh, lots of love. Uh, you can't get it wet. No getting it wet. What do you, you? What do you? And, what do you? What do you got? Oh yes, yes. Um, and you can't feed it after midnight because it becomes an asshole. <laughs> No, no, seriously, it, like, totally lashes out and gets all crazy. Don't feed it after midnight. And, and what is this you have? This is a gremlin. That's what I thought you said. I thought you were talking about an automobile. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, you can use it as an automobile. Okay. Uh, Devante, good morning. Yo, what up, Paul? Hey, what what can I do for you? Oh, uh, yeah, my name is Devante. Uh-huh. Um, me and my homie G's, we were looking around, wanting to do some shopping, you know? Well, um, uh, could I offer fifteen dollars for your wife? Um, <laughs> uh, hey, Lee, are you there? <laughs> yeah, I'm here, Paul. I think the world is full of weirdos I'm today. I'm done. I think it's going to get worse. Well, I think we got Tommy working overtime on the phone today. <laughs> so uh, uh, okay, uh, t- <laughs> today I've got um... George. Good morning. Hi, Paul. Yes, sir. How can we help you? Well, I'm selling a um, a small oak night table. Uh huh. It's got four drawers in it. Um, the bottom true, I I modified to hold my gerbil farm, but you don't actually have to do that. I don't want to do that. Um, I'm asking for twenty dollars. Dave, good morning. Hi, Paul. Yes, sir. Hi, I'm selling a uh, an antique monopoly set oh, wow. from 1938. You're kidding? And, yeah, it's uh. It's quite something. And um, I also have uh, an antique rifle. Is that... Uh... No, we, well, not really. <laughs> no? Well, they know you no. got it. They know you got it right now, so they can call. But anyway. I'm not allowed to sell an antique rifle? Uh, um, I don't know. It, you know, it just starts opening up a can of worms. I, You know, I don't I don't fault you for having it. You what know. the fuck am I supposed to do with it? Other... Through? <laughs> but you didn't hear what we heard. What do you say, Roy? Hey, how you doing? Good. What's well, up? Well, um, me and my wife, I'm giving away some tickets, you see. Me and my wife, we were supposed to go to a show, but uh, she had other plans, uh, didn't know about. Uh, well, since I can't sell her, I figured I might as well sell the ticket. I mean, give away <laughs> the ticket. Right? What, what are the tickets for? Roy's Gerbil and Cactus Emporium. It's down in Tennessee. Really? Yep. It's a great, great place to go. Just kick back and relax. White sand beaches, all the Chris Tompkinson waders you can ever want. Mm-hmm. Yeah, great, great place. Very relaxing. And what uh, you... look, look at cactuses all day. Very nice. Hello, Dave. Good morning, Paul. I'll try not to follow in that uh, other Dave's footsteps. Well, uh, I know some some little fun little pranksters out here probably <laughs> had too much green beer last night. Uh, oh well, that's why we oh. have de- that's why we have delay. There you go. Uh, hi, Richard. Good morning. Hello there, Paul. Uh huh. What you got? Uh, well, my name is Richard Carta. Um, first of all, I'd like to let you know these uh, people who are calling in, uh, right, the Franklins, they're, they
they call themselves the Fun Losers. Oh, is that what um, it is? Yeah, yeah. Uh, these guys, they're real bad. They they call people and harass them, stuff like that, radio stations, anything. You know what? I You know, I found out, and we did it the other day, that you can get anybody's phone number. I don't care if it's a cell phone, whatever it is. It's, you know, anybody can get a phone number, and uh, we can do that, you know? <laughs> Anybody's Wait. phone number can be gotten and find yeah, out where they call, come from, and uh, I didn't know that. Well, thank you. Yes, well, that's absolutely true. One of those guys, huh? All righty. We're not going to have this with these morons today, are we? All right, uh, Bob, good morning. Yes. What? Morning, uh, Paul. You know, we had that last week with a couple of uh, low IQ morons in here. So, I what think, are they doing up so early? I don't. I don't. You know, I don't know. You know, they're totally unaware of the fact that uh, every time they call in, we get their phone number. And you know what? The feds would really be interested. Yeah. You know, it's true. So, uh, tell them to keep it up. Okay. <laughs> Twenty six after seven. It is. Janice, are you there? Yes, I'm right here. Well, good for Janice. <laughs> what you got, kid? Yeah. Um, I'm actually looking to buy. You know, my kids are really into the Southwest. They're they're cactus fanatics, and so it's one of their birthdays is coming up, and I wanted to throw a cactus themed party. And so, if anyone has some cactus themed party decorations, like inflatable cacti, paper cutouts, cactus candles, anything cactus related, I would love to hear from you. Really? How fun! How do, now, how do they get so hooked on cactus? I really don't know. I mean, I guess they saw a TV show at some point on the Southwest, and uh-huh. I don't know. They thought of an idea of a plant that could grow that tall and poke you is the awesomest <laughs> thing ever. <laughs> How fun. Okay. But my, my kids are weird. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> You're right there with them, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I love the cactus, too. Okay. Uh, everyone loves cactus. <laughs> What's your phone number? It's 222-8871. Two two two, eight eight six eight, eight, seven one. Okay, well, good luck. I hope that works out. That sounds exciting. Thank you, cactus, cactus. You sound like a good mom. Thanks for calling. Okay, <laughs> bye. Twenty nine before eight three uh, seven thirty one. Here's Dale. Good morning, Dale. Hey, Paul. How can we help you? Uh, this is Dino. Actually, I'm trying to sell oh. my cordless phone. Okay. These kids are getting on my cordless phone, listening to my conversations. I can't take it anymore, so I'm selling my cordless phone. Okay. That they've been calling all night, so it's going to be thirty five dollars. It's it's one of those eighties cordless phones. Okay. And channels. Okay. And cactus, 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 cactus. Whatever. <laughs> Weird. Steve, good morning. Morning, Paul. Yeah, I'm selling my um my uh, less than two year old GE refrigerator. Uh huh. Uh, my number is three one four five eight seven six. And uh, when you call, ask for uh, Richard Cardo. He's uh, he's going to handle it. And uh... amazing. Hi, Jay. Good morning. Hey, how's it going? Very good. Wow, man! Somebody left the level awesome on didn't they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> somebody's somebody's uh, hitting the drugs pretty good this morning. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sarah. Good morning. Hello. Can you hear me? All right. Yeah, I can. I can. I can. Wonderful. Okay. Um, so I have, uh, well, my husband has a whole box full of butt plugs. Spark and plugs. They're, they're not used. They're brand new. And we're going to sell them for really cheap. Okay. Do you know what kind they fit? Um, I guess any, I guess I'll go in any, any but. Okay. And what yeah, else? I don't really know much about them, but uh, um, you're doing good. I guess, yeah, I guess it's ten bucks. Mm-hmm. I guess would be fair. I guess so. And what's your phone number? It is eight two seven eight five five one. Okay, thanks. Uh, Harlan, good morning, kid. Good morning, Paul. Boy, it's a shame somebody don't uh, find out who them stupid idiots is calling in and take care of that. But well, I think we got I think we got a plan here. They're they're we're picking up numbers and so yeah. I uh, think the feds ought to be able to do something with them. Anyway, I've got a, a ninety. This would be Brad, I believe. 
Hi, how are you doing, Paul? Ah, good, Brad. I'm selling a 2000 Ford Focus white for $2,000. It's got a few fender benders. I uh, actually ran into a cactus. My number is mm-hmm. 465-6600. Okay. Very good. All right, thank you. Okay. Uh, Ken, good morning. Oh, Ken. morning, Paul. Yeah, I'm uh, going to sell my uh, 95 Toyota Corolla. Uh-huh. It's uh, 129,000 miles on it. My number is uh, 314-5877. Good car. Oh, it. Good car. Let's see what we can do yeah. for you, okay? Thank you. Yeah. I love you. All right. <laughs> Whatever. A lot of thanks goes to Zazen, I Don't Like Rabbits, and Megas for recording these calls and putting them up for everyone. You can hear even more of the audio by visiting the PLA forums and by going to www.prehack.org.